everybody, Pam with Normalized Cloth here, and yes, I'm wearing a face mask, and yes, this is a face mask tutorial. I am by no means any kind of sewer. I'm actually quite bad at it, but funny enough, diapers were the inspiration for this design. So this is a cloth mask with a pocket that you can put a filter inside. You can use an electrostatic filter like for an oil furnace or something or you can use um, you know coffee filters or anything. It just adds an extra layer of protection and at the same time creates something you can use repeatedly. So all you need is a 9 by 13 piece of fabric and two six to seven inch pieces of elastic. I use six inches of five eighths fold over elastic just cause it's easier to find. It's what I had on hand initially and it's actually pretty comfortable. It's also really helpful if you have these little sewing clips. It's incredibly helpful. It's pretty simple to put together. In order to make this pocketed mask, all you need to do is hem the shorter side. So the nine inch side, just do a, a quick little rolled hem. So I did one side already. I still have to do the other side yet, so. All I do is kind of get it started. I'm just rolling it right in and pressing it down and then I shove it under the foot. Back tack to lock the stitch in place. You probably can't even see. I'm sorry. I'm gonna kind of roll it as I go. Honestly, I don't usually do this. A lot of times I'm just folding it over once and doing it. This will look nicer, but you don't have to, to be honest. It goes inside the mask. Who's going to be paying attention? Next, what you're going to do is lay it right side up. So you want the ugly part of the hem facing down. If this is a patterned print, you would want the pattern facing up. And what you're going to do is just kind of fold it so that the in thirds so that the middle overlaps a little bit. But you want to basically center the fold so that the one inch overlap is about in the center. You don't wanna, it doesn't have to be perfect, but whatever. And then what I'm doing is I'm clipping where the corners are at so I know where to stick my elastics. So I'm not grabbing all the material, I'm actually just grabbing the bottom layer for now so that I know I can unfold it and I know where my elastics will go and then I'll clip those in too. So then you just unfold it, grab your elastic, Clip them in place. Why so these clips make this so much easier? And then without twisting it, bring it down and clip the other side in place. So there's the, uh, the only thing is, is when you're sewing, you have to be careful that this elastic doesn't come over so much that you sew over. I've done that once out of, I don't know how many masks I've made. And it's, it's actually pretty easy to do, especially, and I think the reason it happened to me was because I was making a child mask and the elastics are shorter and it was it was pretty close. If you're worried about accidentally sewing over that, I'm gonna shorten this side just a touch. If you're accident if you're worried about accidentally sewing over it, one way to remedy that is to stick a pin through here, like through the fabric and the elastic to just kind of hold it back in place. I find that's not really necessary most of the time as long as you sew carefully. So push the elastic over, I fold this side down to the clip. And then I pick up everything and clip it. Now all we're going to do is sew down either side. When we sew, we're going to back tack over the full length of the elastic to make sure it's good and secured in place. Stitch straight down. Just keeping in mind where your actual edge is and stay as close to the edge as possible. Invert it, and if you didn't screw up, you'll end up with something that looks like this. So the one side's going to be plain and the other side's going to have a pocket. Make it so that the plain side is facing up and you're just going to put a couple pleats in it. I put my pleats pretty tight and I fold it kind of accordion style. I don't really measure or make it a point to try to make them as beautiful as possible. I just kind of do it and what I normally do is I clip one side so that when I sew I don't have to worry about having to refold the other side. 
what I do too, <laughs> sometimes I kink it up and I don't care because it needs to be functional, not beautiful, is I sew into the pleats so that I don't have to pin it or anything. And that's usually my most foolproof way of doing it. Is it the most beautiful? No. Will it work? Well, it should. So now what you have is a mask with a pocket on the inside. So there's the mask. And as you can see, on that, that's the front side that we just sewed. My camera's not over here, it's over there. <laughs> um, and then the inside has a pocket opening that's nice and big that you can put, um, well, any kind of filtration. And coffee filters will work in a pinch. You can go to the um, store and find this like allergen electrostatic filter stuff. It looks a lot like felt. Cut a piece of that off and put it in and replace that whenever you need to and wash the mask. So you just stuff it. In fact, let me get a coffee filter. I'll try to show you what I do because I'm usually bad at this, but you can fold the coffee filter kind of in thirds and whatever, just to kind of make it a little more rectangular. Open this up as much as possible. You have to fold the sides in just a touch. And then you can kind of, hard to see, but I sort of just push the filter up to the edge and down to the edge. So the whole mask has a coffee filter in it. Flap on the inside. And spread it out. Coffee filter the whole way up and over. I keep looking over here for my camera because I'm putting my phone on this thing upside down. That's pretty bad. So that's all it takes to make it. Seemed like it took a lot longer, but it doesn't normally take me that long. But then again, I'm not usually doing tutorials too. So I hope this helps. I hope you all stay healthy and blessed. Have a good day. Help me, Lord, I keep choosing what's not worth it. Your word's written on my heart, but I'm imperfect. My spirit and my flesh are two different persons. Always fighting myself, and I'm still hurting. Lord, I need to hear your voice, because I hear the gavel. Condemnation's got a knife at my Adam's apple. I try to reach the end zone, but I get tackled. And if I try again alone, I'm going to unravel. I'm a calling on the one who lifts the lowly. The only one who does good and is holy. The one I know I can trust ain't a phony. The one I know before I call, he done phone me. Let the message out to pick it up and hear it. Even if my worldliness causes me to fear it. If I harbor wickedness, he will share it. Not by might, nor by power, by his spirit. the conflict inside of me and he's shown that there's gotta be a strict dichotomy in your head of what he said and what he didn't say make the distinction so stark that it be night and day sometimes i give myself way when i know i can't stay in this place for too long but if i give up and pray i can move ahead led by the hand of the a to z god of the hills and flatlands some man dance after growing in a mad cancerous breath and slipping from the wrong side of heaven so here i stand ready to give it up to the god i believe is jehovah rofeca the god who heals my disease so Help me, Lord, I turn to you because you're worth it. The Spirit's cutting on my heart, making me perfect. And out of all of my mess, I'm a new person. You can fill my emptiness with a new purpose.